All right, John Oates here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location today. And today we're going to go over this car sitting beside me. This is a 1978 Chevrolet Corvette T-top model, and this is the 25th anniversary edition here. Um, now, before I get into the car too much, let me just kind of uh, let you folks know out there that if you're watching this video, say, on YouTube or any of the other social media outlets out there, and you're not viewing this through our website, Keep in mind that you can always go back and see about a hundred photos of this car, both of the outside, inside, and underside of it, all on our website at www.hangsters.com. Now, on with the car here. So as you can see here, we have a 78 Corvette here, and again, like I mentioned, it is the 25th anniversary model. Now this is the correct color scheme for the car, the two-tone silver with the gray lower body color there. Of course you've got the darker stripes and also on the car to help separate things. Got your hood here, it's got the L82 emblems here on the hood scoop itself along with more of that striping there. And then of course on your 25th anniversary model here, you can see the wheels that it comes with. These were the factory aluminum wheels here for this car. They are 15 inch. And then you can see a nice set of Goodyear uh, Eagle GT2 tires on this. All four corners, matching tires, matching tire sizes. These are 255, 60 R15s. Now, on the Corvettes, you don't have a whole lot of metal really as far as the body goes to really go over all mostly fiberglass so again you're not going to have any rust issues or anything like that the paint on this car nice smooth and shiny all the way around and you can see how well the car was put together as far as panel fitment and alignment you can see your door gaps here to the front side as well as to the back side here of the door all very uniform when it comes to that fitment and your elevations here where they fit with your rear quarter panels and your front fenders all in line here there's no dips or anything and again all your body lines all match up well you do have your mirrors here on the car you do have them on both sides and they are actually the body color that silver painted mirror uh, with the striping around it the glass in those mirrors is all in great shape too i did mention it is a t-top model so these tops are removable for you come summertime and nice weather Take those off, put the windows down, just have fun with the wind in your hair driving in a Corvette. As far as the glass goes here in the car, slightly tinted glass, no chips, cracks, or uh, scratches really to talk of here. Everything looks good. Of course, your door handles on the Corvette up here on top, you just push down on those to open those, and we'll do that right now for you so we can take a look at the interior. Inside, you can see the all black vinyl interior in the Corvette here, uh, black carpeting, uh, seat upholstery, the door panels, dash, all of that, all black and all very nice for a 78 Corvette. Now this is the factory dash in here. You see all factory gauges here. You've got the 140 Speedo, you've got the factory tack in the dash as well, and then right up through your center console there, you're going to have gauges like your clock and your fuel gauge, uh, water temperature, oil pressure, your voltmeter gauges. Those are all going to be housed right there uh, at the front of your center console. Uh, it does have factory AC in this car along with the rear window defrost also. So all very nice options for this car as well as a nice tilt steering column in this car too. Again, these Corvettes sometimes can be a little cumbersome to get in and out of, but again, you've got that tilt wheel, raise it up, makes it a lot easier to get in and out of. Seat upholstery, there's no rips or tears, same thing with the carpet, no rips, tears, or fading. Door panels are in really good shape. Power door locks and power windows on this car as well. We'll close that door up, and we'll kind of come around now towards the back side of the car here. Again, you can see nothing special here, just your typical Corvette uh, rear fascia back here with your taillights. Those lenses, those are all in great shape. Backup light lenses, same thing. Of course, you've got your built-in bumpers back here, uh, all molded in. And then, of course, you've got your gas cap right up here. Of course, you've got your Corvette 
Uh, you've got the 25th anniversary emblem up here, those cross flags, all of that stuff. Again, your rear window, you can see nice big glass back here, curved glass. You can see the defroster unit in the glass. Again, no chips, cracks, or scratches back here. And all of your trim, all that molding around that rear glass is in really good shape, nice and straight all the way around. We'll come around, all of your, uh, your turn signal indicator lights and so forth, those are all good shape. All the lenses, no chips or cracks in any of those. Over here now to the passenger side. So again, don't really need to kind of keep going over everything. But again, door gaps on both sides are really nice. And again, your elevations, everything is all in line. Again, there's that mirror again on the passenger side as well. You can see the glass now on the passenger side. Also, again, no chips, cracks, uh, or scratches there. We'll go ahead and open this up so you get to see the interior from both sides now. And again, as we mentioned, no rips or tears in any of the seat upholstery, no fading or rips or tears in the carpeting. The center console is in good condition too, as well as the dash, no cracks or tears anywhere there. As I mentioned, all factory gauges in there as well. So what we'll do now is close this up and we'll continue around now towards the front of the vehicle. Of course, you've got the matching cross flags emblems on both sides here on the fenders. Again, those L82 emblems matching on both sides of that uh, cowl there on your hood. Now around the front side of the, the Corvette here again, your typical nose here on the Corvette. You've got your built-in bumpers down here, got the Corvette license plate, the 25th anniversary cross flags matching emblem here that goes along with that gas cap back there. And again, as with all Corvettes, you've got the flip up headlights that function when you pull them on. They operate normally off of vacuum, so they're gonna raise up. And then of course, when you're done and you shut the lights off, they will go down. Uh, our hood, we're gonna get to that here in just a moment. Um, that's gonna go ahead and lift up from the backside, obviously, as with all Corvettes. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll pop that uh, hood. There we go. Just got to disengage the locks from both sides. And then we can raise it up. You just want to place your hood uh, prop there in the proper position so it doesn't fall back down on you. And this is what we have for our motor. This is a all original numbers matching 350 cubic inch small block Chevrolet motor. And yes, I did say numbers matching. So this is the motor that this car was manufactured with, was born with. Now, as far as the car goes, the, the engine accessories, um, it does have an aluminum intake on it. Um, as with most uh, Corvettes do, you've got the, uh, it's an Edelbrock four barrel carburetor underneath the air cleaner. Of course, the ignition on it, you've got the HEI distributor on there with a set of eight millimeter plug wires to help deliver a little better spark to that engine. Um, it is power steering, it is power brakes as well. You can see the brake system right here with your booster for the power brakes. And it's four wheel disc brakes too. So that's going to stop this car in an instant. Again, Corvette's not all that heavy. Again, they're all fiberglass. Uh, and again, with having the disc brakes, it does also have the parking brake on it. Uh, and that is all hooked up as we will show you here in our next video of it uh, when we go underneath the car to show you all of that stuff. Um, it does have a stock radiator in it with a seven blade fan. Uh, and as I mentioned before, when we were in the interior, it does have the factory air conditioning in it as well. Um, everything's all plumbed, all hooked up, belts all run, and all functioning on this car. Um, nothing really special other than that as far as uh, going through the engine. Like I said, just numbers match. Behind this engine, we have a turbo 350 automatic transmission. And then to finish off our drive line out here in the back of the car, we do have your standard uh, Corvette GM rear end in here. And again, we'll show you that from the underside, complete with the telescoping axles, the uh, transverse mounted uh, multi-leaf spring back there as, as all the Corvettes of this era had. Uh, but it's a 370 gear ratio and it is a posi unit in that rear end with the eight and a half inch ring gear. Um, so that kind of is pretty much it as far as the walk around, going around the outside, 
checking out the interior and then going under the hood. I would go through the trunk here, but the Corvette doesn't have a trunk. So you just have the little bit of storage area back behind the rear seats. Of course, your battery too, it's going to be located in a small compartment back there as well. And that's where they were from the factory. So that's pretty much it for a Corvette on the outside. Um, what we'll do next is get this up in the air, show you the complete underside, and then we'll finally fire that motor up, let you hear what that numbers match 350 sounds like. All right, so now that we're underneath our 78 uh, 25th anniversary Corvette here, we're going to go through, as we always do, uh, talking and telling you about all of the driveline on this car, discussing the frame and the floors, uh, braking system, uh, steering system, all of that stuff, wheels, tires, you name it. If it's underneath here, we're going to touch on it here as we're underneath here. So starting up here at the front, let's go over the suspension on this car first. Uh, suspension on this car, all factory stock here. So you've got your standard, your typical stamp steel, upper and lower control arms on the front, your A-arms here. Um, all of uh, the ball joints, those are all in good shape, all greased. You can tell everything's been maintained very well underneath this car for a 78 uh, Corvette. Uh, the cross member on this car, that's all factory too, so nothing's been changed or modified on this vehicle. Um, as far as the steering and braking up front, uh, we do have power steering on this car. We also have power brakes. Now those brakes are going to be four-wheel disc brakes, so you're going to have great stopping power on this car. You should not have any issues with that whatsoever. And then let's go all the way out to the ends here, um, wheels and tires. Since this is the 25th anniversary edition, um, we've got the factory aluminum Corvette wheels on this car, and they are 15 inch all the way around. And then it's got a very nice looking set of Goodyear Eagle GT2 tires, and they are all 25560 R15s on this car. Let's go to the back now for our suspension. Uh, back here, you're going to find your typical Corvette rear end housing back here. You've got the telescoping axles here on the back, uh, set up with that transverse mounted leaf spring back here. Um, again, that is all factory stuff. Um, and as far as that rear end goes, um, that is going to be the eight and a half inch ring gear in there, a 370 gear ratio, and it is a posi unit in that rear end. Um, so we've already gone over wheels and tires, uh, braking system on the car too. Uh, let's come back up underneath the center here. Uh, the frame and the floors. Of course, the frame on this car, we can look at that and see that the whole frame here, nice and square, good and straight, all the way back through. All your cross members are all in good shape. Never looks like they've really been touched on anything on this car. They look really, really good. Um, and as far as our drive line goes, this is going to be your numbers matching 350 cubic inch small block Chevrolet motor. So we've checked all the numbers, uh, stamping numbers, uh, engine uh, uh, date codes and so forth. Everything is all numbers match on this motor. Right behind that we've got the turbo 350 automatic transmission. Um, now this, so you can see the uh, trans pan as well as the oil pan on the engine. We can look all the way around all the edges on it and everything is nice and dry, free from any leaks or drips that we can see here. Of course, you've got your transmission cross member here. Uh, the mount for the tail shaft of the transmission is in good shape too. We come back here to the drive shaft and look up in here. Uh, where your slip yoke slides into the transmission at the input shaft seal, that is all dry as well. Um, emergency brake, that is all hooked up. You've got all your cables all in place, all functioning here, all your intermediate cables, front cables, your pulls on the frame, um, everything all run back all to those rear brakes on the car. So not only do you have the disc brakes all the way around, you do have that parking brake uh, back here in those factory discs as well. As far as the exhaust goes, now it does come off of your dual um, stock manifolds up front here at the motor. Of course, it'll buy into one pipe here, uh, back here to your stock catalytic converter. All your heat shields here are in place as well. 
and then of course it's going to Y back out into dual uh, pipes here at the back, and then of course you've got your dual mufflers with your tail pipes here right underneath the rear end. Of course, you've got your spare tire carrier here. That's all in good shape. All the mounts are all in great shape too on this car. And like I said, the frame floors, floors are in great shape too. Again, Corvettes, they're all fiberglass. You're not running any risk of, you know, having any you know, heavy rust or anything through any of those body panels and so forth like that. And again, fiberglass just doesn't have that characteristic to it. So uh, everything's nice and solid underneath here. A very nice underside for this 78 uh, Chevy Corvette 25th Anniversary Edition. Um, so what we'll do now, uh, like we always do, let's get this down off the lift. We'll go underneath the hood now. We'll fire this up so you get to hear what that numbers matching 350 sounds like.